And now, Super Bowl suggestions from your wife. Hi, it's me, your wife. Look, I know the Super Bowl is this Sunday, and I know the forces of nature won't allow you to miss it. It's pre-wired into your genetic code, much like hunting and gathering. I also realize that because of your primal urge to travel in a herd, your buddies will be coming over. I get it, but uh, I'd like to make a suggestion this year. I'm not asking you to eat with cutlery or anything crazy. I'd just like to point out that we have these things called coasters. I know your first instinct will be to eat them or make weapons out of them, but they're actually designed to set your beers on. They preserve the wood, so you won't have to go out into the jungle and forage for more. Uh, I have more suggestions, like don't pee out the back door and don't white barbecue sauce on the drapes. But, uh, you know, let's just uh, take it one step at a time. Stay tuned for more Super Bowl suggestions from your wife. <laughs> Some guy's got to be told, I guess, you know. <laughs> you know... Yeah. We are talking about the Super Bowl, right? Yes. You know what I would do for halftime? Because gas prices shot up to $3.20. Oh, no, what? Let me give you some names from this roster. See if you know who they are. Darren Woods. Anybody know who Darren Woods is? Mm. Darren Woods. No. I'll help you. He's the CEO of ExxonMobil. Ah. Mike Worth. Anybody know who Mike Worth is? Worth a lot. He is. He's the CEO of Chevron. Patrick you know who he is? He's the French uh, executive CEO of Total Engines. Oh. Energies. Excuse me. That's Total Energies. Tom L. Ward. He's the Oklahoma City businessman. A philanthropist who price gouges you. He's the CEO of Mock Resources. Ohio native Lynn Good. She is uh, the CEO of Duke Energy. Richard Kinder. He ain't very kinder. He's a uh, Kinder Morgan Inc. <laughs> Uh, he joins Bernard Looney, John W. Ketchum, Sharif Suki, Ben Van Breerden, Vagat Applekrov, and Scott D. Sheffield. They're the CEOs of the big oil companies. So you know what I would do for my halftime show? I would cart all of them out and line them up and chain them with their legs open. Then I would get 50 common people, you know, single moms, single dads, people like us who work for a living, and everybody else. And I would line them up, and I would let them, for the whole duration of the Super Bowl halftime show, walk by and kick them all right in the testicles (laughs) so they can feel what the rest of us feel every time we go to the gas station. That would be my halftime show. Even Linda, she's getting a kick right in the testicles. Wow. For 15 straight minutes, maybe 20. I was trying to think of the one. There was one of those big oil CEOs back during the spill in the Gulf. Yeah. And he, he came out and he said, we care about the little people. I'm like, the fact that you say little people Correct. tells me everything I need to know about But that's you. what I would do. Oh, looks like John from John from uh, Arkansas is really lighted up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Looks like he kicked that one at least 50 yards. <laughs> All right, there you go. Poor Tom's going to feel that for the next month. <laughs> well, I'll just be over here watching Patrick Mabones and the uh, <laughs> Puppy Bowl. Puppy Bowl. Team well, let me just tell you, Tom ain't Maboning after that halftime show. <laughs> <laughs> or you can watch Guy Ferrari. It's a Shepherd Poodle Mix. Moosh. Fieti. Mr. Bean. Sonny. Bark Purdy. Right. You guys like uh, the Team Rough contestant peanut pretzel he's a good looking pug. He's pug. A pug yeah do their eyes like naturally just go like to each side of their head oh like... their eyes go everywhere yeah okay they do their eyes <laughs> it's kind of freaky <laughs> they kind of have the, bo- the bobble eyes yeah 